Um, any nerves? Just how did it feel to uh, make your first start? Um, you know, I, I didn't feel like I had, you know, really any nerves um, at all this week. Um, you know, perspective has changed um, a lot over the years, and um, it's not worth stressing over um, and getting, you know, all uptight. So I just want to go out there and, and play free today and, um, you know, try and try and facilitate the offense uh, in a way to win. Um, and, you know, we just we just fell short a little bit. Jared, I know you were a top recruit coming out of high school and obviously played a lot in college, but you had, you had to wait a while to get your first start in the NFL. Was it a process uh, to sort of maintain your confidence throughout these years where you didn't get that opportunity on game day? Yeah, for sure. I, th I think, you know, the thing about the NFL is everybody's a good player and everybody was probably the best player on their high school team growing up and um, probably the best, one of the best players on the college, on their college team, you know, through college. So, um, you know, my thing has always just been to, to work hard. Um, I don't know anything else. I don't know how to do anything other than, uh, you know, the hard way. So um, I've just tried to continue to just to stay grounded and, and who I am as a person and as a, as a player and, um, you know, just be ready whenever my number was called. So whether that's, you know, rookie year, second year, third year, or now, fourth year. So, um, yeah. Jerry, your feet were able today to extend plays, both running the ball and just getting out of the pocket. I'm just curious for you, did it, at what point did it feel comfortable? At what point did you feel like, okay, I, I'm over the jitters, I'm ready to go? Yeah, I mean, I honestly think, um, I mean, during the middle of that first drive, once we just kind of started moving the ball consistently, um, it was kind of whenever I felt felt comfortable and um, just felt like I was ready to go. So it was uh, probably somewhere around then. And following up to that, your teammates really rallied for you. What did it mean? I watched them several times. They're hugging you. They're encouraging you. What did it mean to have those guys rally and fight for you? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's everything. Um, you know, Playing, playing on a on a team, um, you know, football is the ultimate team sport, and uh, you know that's why that's why we play is to play for the guys in the locker room, you know, each and every week, and um, that, like I said, that's just the joy of of getting to play this game. You get to get to meet a lot of amazing people, um, coaches, players, support staff. Um, there's just so many so many awesome people you get to, you know, go to work with every day, and uh, you grow close to and. I mean, I spend more time with these with these guys than I do my own family. So uh, you just get close, and you just want to, you know, you want to do everything you can to to make those people happy. So um, yeah, I mean, it's just it's tough the way that today went, but um, you know, I thought we fought extremely hard and, and, until the end, obviously. Uh, we saw you connect with Devonte on a couple uh, huge plays. It, had you guys kind of developed a, a rapport that we kind of hadn't seen behind the scenes, or is it just a case of uh, you know having a receiver his uh, ability, trusting him to make a play? What did what, what, you see on some of those? Yeah, obviously, I haven't, I haven't gotten the chance to throw to Devonte all that much throughout the year, but um, you know we worked hard this week in practice to to try and get some timing, you know, between the two of us. And um, yeah, I mean he's a he's an amazing player, clearly, um, and I just tried to. You know, put the ball, uh, you know, somewhere where he can get it and touch it, and um, you know that's my job as the as the quarterback is to facilitate the offense and get those guys the ball. So um, him, along with you know Darren Foster, JJ Hunter, Mac Key, I mean all those guys are they're, they're tremendous football players, and um, happy I get to throw to those guys. Jarrett Willie Ramirez with the Associated Press. Darren and Devonte said that they were not surprised whatsoever. Since back in April, you've been putting people in position knowing this system. Devontae also said after the game in the team meeting, you apologized that you didn't get the job done. And the team was like, hey, come on now. You balled out. Did, did you take this one personally? And, put, and you, Are you bur to sort of shouldering the burden of the loss yourself? Did you feel like that immediately afterwards? The ball's in my hands every play. Um, I'm the only one that gets to touch it every play. And, um, you know, unfortunately, there was – you know, two interceptions um, in the game and um, probably some things that I definitely could have done better, um, you know, to win. So, you know, obviously we're going to look at the look at the film, you know, tomorrow morning and and see, you know, what I could have done better. Um, definitely feel like I, I left some football out there on the field today. Um, but we're just going to keep grinding. And, we, you know, we got one more shot at this thing next week against the Chiefs. And obviously they're another good football team. So um, we're going to learn from this one and, and get to work this week and 
and see if we can, you know, end the end the year the right way and how it, you know how we should. So, uh, Jerry, you seem like a pretty measured guy, but after some of the, the big plays out there today, you were you were pretty emotive and, and fired up. Is there like a, a switch for you that flips kind of when the kickoff happens and you get out there to where you you, you get a little bit more energized on the field? Yeah, I mean, I, ju I just try to play with emotion. Um, you know, never get too too high or too too low, um, but football's football is fun. I mean. We get to play football for a living, and you know if you're not excited and having fun with your teammates, then what are you doing? So that's how I look at it. You know, if one of my teammates makes a great play, you know I'm gonna go celebrate with him, and um, that's just how I've always looked at it. I love playing with emotion, um, trying to rally the guys the best I can. Um, so that's what that's what I'm gonna keep doing. Jerry, back over here with the Rebel Report. As a new leader of this team, how do you set that tone in the locker room, whether it be post game, whether it be practice leading up to the game, or on the sidelines? Yeah, I just be myself. Um, I don't try to be anybody um, that I'm not. Um, I've grown up a certain way, and um, like I said earlier, I'm just grounded in the, in the kind of player and person that I am. So I just try to be myself and um, you know, be genuine with the guys. Um, like I said earlier, playing with, playing with a group of guys like this is, uh, you know, it's all you can ask for. You know, that, that's the, the beauty of, of playing this sport. So I uh, just try to be myself. Willie Ramirez again with the Associated Press. Jarrett, uh, I apologize if you answered this in some form, but as far as those first game jitters, those f that first drive, first minute, did it take maybe getting bumped, getting hit? Was it the first throw, first handoff? Wh at what point did you feel not only that your jitters were out, but they were on the same page with you with the system that you've sort of known for a while? Yeah, I think for me it wasn't really a certain point or a certain thing that had happened. I just uh, – once we kind of got going through that first series and we were moving the ball – you know, pretty well. Um, just felt just felt comfortable. So, um, and those guys obviously did a tremendous job today of of battling, and um, you know we were there for each other. And uh, yeah, it was like I said, it was you know tough to tough to end that way. Um, but we got like I said, we got another another week here that we're we're all on the same page on how we how we need to finish the year. Thank you, guys.